Authorities say despite the presence of hundreds of uniformed officers, it wasn't enough to stop this from happening. Let's get the latest now from Fox 5. Sharon Crowley live in studio. Sharon? Yeah, Natasha and Steve, thousands of fans attended this event. It was a chance to honor and see the players fresh off that Super Bowl vic victory in person. A mass shooting shattering that joy in just minutes. Now, what we know now, one person is dead. She's been identified by the radio station that she worked for in Kansas City as a DJ there, and there are 22 others, including eight children who were wounded by gunfire. The crowd started just rushing us and like trampling everybody and so we kind of moved about and then we heard gunshots. I heard shots coming out at the very end of the parade. It was very loud. It kind of sounded like fireworks. A scary moment for us and a lot of people who were down here. We saw them running out of Union Station here. And after the parade, shortly after the parade, we saw police running from behind this stage and over in front of Union Station. And then we heard a gunshot shortly after that. A celebration to honor the Super Bowl winning Kansas City Chiefs turned deadly. Chaos erupted when Kansas City police say shots were fired just after the parade and rally was ending. Gunfire frightening thousands in the crowd who had come here for a day of fun. As soon as the rally concluded, there were shots fired on the west side of Union Station. Officers were on scene in the area. I know one of the suspects was immediately pursued on foot. Police say one person is dead, 22 others wounded, eight of those children. We had eight what we considered immediately life-threatening patients. We had seven with uh, life-threatening injuries, and we had six that were had minor injuries. Of uh, the most serious, the immediately life-threatening injuries, we had eight of those. Those were all transported and off the scene and route to hospitals within 10 minutes. All the kids with gunshot wounds are being treated at Children's Mercy Hospital. A spokesperson there says they are expected to make a full recovery. Fear. The one word I would just use to describe what we saw, that's how they felt when they came to us, was fear. Three suspects are in custody, but police are still trying to figure out why this happened. Quinton Lucas is the mayor of Kansas City. This is absolutely a tragedy, the likes of which we would have never expected in Kansas City, and the likes of which we will remember for some time. Well, players like Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes sending his prayers. The NFL also releasing a statement tonight saying their thoughts are with the victims and everyone affected. President Biden has been briefed on the shooting and the White House has ordered federal assistance with the investigation if it's necessary, Natasha. All right, Sharon, thank you. And